Yo, what's happening everyone? We are back. It is Enduro Diaries 2024. And uh, you know the deal, it's me speaking to you guys, the people that follow the channel and follow the journey. Just talking about how the season's going, what's happening, all this sort of stuff. Um, so yeah, with no further ado, let's get into it. Ah, so this time next week, we will have done the first race of the season and it will be as last year it will be the Jotaland Enduro Series that will be opening the season it will be in Husqvarna and I went and filmed a preview for that a few weeks ago which will be coming out uh, Wednesday so keep your eyes peeled anyone that's racing that and uh, anyone that's thinking about racing that series next uh, later in the season or something Keep your eyes peeled you'll see you'll see what it's about and then obviously at the end of the week we'll have the povs and a vlog coming out from that one it's been a long time between drinks isn't it uh last race was in what end of october and here we are middle of april so there's a good few months in there um so i hope everyone's recharged and ready and excited to get racing again i know i am my off season well uh, at the end of last year, anyone that follows the channel will know I was really struggling with uh, with my stomach and had a lot of like uh, the long story is um, or the short story is sorry. Uh, I'm struggling to take the right nutrition that I need from my food, um, which really hampers recovery um, and uh, and and just yeah just general recovery and energy. So. I've taken it a bit different this off season and tried really not to focus so much on that really high exertion stuff, you know, like the top power output. And, and I can really feel that when I ride now, like I know that the, those long stages, like the big sprints and stuff, I'm just not going to be able to sort of compete as I have been previously, or at least at the start of year, last year was. And, and that's something that I've always felt has been my strength, but it has allowed me to focus a bit more on my riding and uh, i actually feel coming into this year like that my riding is is as good as it's ever been which is a nice position to be in um the numbers have helped on that i went to velorson last weekend and uh, managed to set prs on every track that i rode which is a nice place to be i've done a bit more focus on uh, like gym work so uh feel like stronger in myself uh, a lot more like core stability uh, and uh, like jump power in the legs let's say and, and and across the shoulders I feel a bit better like I say the sprinting might be a bit down but I think you know on those race days you can kind of dig deep but it's the exact sort of thing that I need to watch out for uh, January and February went really well I felt really good March you know um, it had a bit of a setback with the stomach and then there was some other stuff going on in life and mountain biking is not always top priority right so that wasn't so great but the last week of march and then into april we feel like we turned the corner and and really coming into this first race of the season feeling ready to go um for me it's going to be a new type of season because i'm going to be racing in masters and uh that's that's new and and i do feel like it's fairer um after the age of 30 the body's not quite the same <laughs> and, uh, some of these things do do like take a toll and uh, to be racing against guys uh, as I'm 34 to be racing against guys over that age I think uh, yeah I think that's a fair representation of, of how it is um, <laughs> and uh, you know it's uh, it's tough for the ego to take getting smashed by people half your age so it kind of levels the playing field a bit <laughs> For me, I'm not going to be doing the National Series this year. I'm just going to be racing the Capital Enduro and the Yotaland Enduro. With uh, how my body is and, and still having these issues, like it's just not right for me to try and do these big race weekends with lots of traveling. I just can't recover. And, uh, and I just it means that I can't race how I want to race. And then it's just not enjoyable. And at the end of last year, it was just... It was a grind and I wasn't enjoying it and that's not how it should be so with a reduced schedule for myself this year I feel like I can really give the races that I've chosen to do full effort and and really go out uh, all out of them and 
yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to a great season. The schedules for the GES and CES are really exciting stuff. New venues on both rounds and uh, new formats. So, yeah, like that is a definite positive and something I'm really excited about. Also going to take a trip over to Norway and do one of those races. Going to go to the Dramen Enduro, which looks outrageous. I think Gazunda on a bigger hill. Hmm. My setup for the year. Um, I'm continuing into my what fourth season now with Trail Store. They came on in the middle of the 2021 season, and uh, it's it feels great. Um, we've the team's gone down a bit in size, and it's more of a sort of ambassadors than a race team. Let's say we all have our own setups and stuff. But for me, I will be riding on the Marin. This guy that I'm going to put a photo of now. And, uh, and I love it. It's a size small, which fits me amazing. I think bike sizing is an absolute mess, um, but that's something we can dive into another video. Trail Store have been instrumental in getting me on this bike, and I'm looking forward to showing everyone not only that this bike looks cool and is fun to ride, but can also go really freaking fast. Um, also, I will be with Ride and Develop again. Um, the founder of Ride and Develop, Philip, is a good friend of mine, and I'm happy to be uh, an ambassador for them continuing. And I, I look forward to showing what they can do. I'm going to be going to a few of their venues that they've worked on, doing some breakdowns of what they've done, show people what they do, get involved with some of the team members, and have some interviews and that sort of stuff. So that I'm, I'm really excited about. And of course, Ride and Develop runs the Yotaland Enduro, so will be heavily involved in all sorts of filming stuff regarding that. Still gonna ride with Evolve Optics, super stoked on that, and uh, there's some new, new products coming out very soon for this year, and expect me to be wearing those, but you'll see me in my trademark zebra strap goggles, and, uh, and my glasses when I'm trail riding. So again, Evolve is a small brand based here in Stockholm, and I'm really happy to try and get them out there and, and help grow the brand and, and the awareness of some goggles that I really rate. I've been riding with a lot of people since I've been having those goggles and, and seen people's lenses missed up and all this sort of stuff and I've never had that issue with them in all the conditions I've ridden which is there's nothing more frustrating than a wet race where your goggles steam up is there and you just you do one run and you're like what am I doing now and Evolve have got rid of that issue so I'm really really stoked on that. The other brand I'm going to be working with is Kiano. They do like uh, sort of your nutrition shakes, uh, protein shakes. So the days that I know that I'm going to go riding, I'll have one of these like after work before I uh, incur. There's two planes, not just one, two. Uh, so I'll have one of these shakes like when I get home from work, then I can get on my kit on and I know I've got the that, that, that base to go out and train and then when I get home I can have the protein so I know I can recover well. Um, I have a code for 30% off for these guys, check it out in the description and uh, get yourself hooked up and um, give it a try. I wouldn't promote anything that I don't believe in, um, that's not me, that's not who I am but these guys have really helped me through the off season and as someone who struggles with nutrition I think it's it's a really good thing to get right so uh yeah check those ones out also i'm gonna carry on being an ambassador for verhoback and bike park there's uh you know there's a lot of bike parks around but these guys as ever helped me out massively in the last few seasons they've given me a place to base my training and i think those tracks are fantastic for training on um i will be back there doing povs they're not hosting a race this year it doesn't look like that may change later in the season but uh but yeah you'll see me riding there plenty this year and uh i've i've got always got time for them so if you haven't ridden there we're back and have a look through the channel you'll find stuff from there it's a good place to ride bikes in terms of like goals um i've never i've stood on a podium i've stood on second place third place a few times it would be nice to get onto that top step this year. That were, that's a, a goal I want to do, um, a goal I want to unlock. And uh, we're going to go all out and try and make that happen. Um, other than that, it's make a lot of videos, show everyone what good riding there is in Sweden because there's some insane stuff. Today I went to a new venue, Brukets back in uh, Jefella, 
that pronunciation might be wrong sorry about that swedes but uh that's another spot in sweden so now there's like four lift access places to ride in stockholm it's crazy like it's so good um but yeah going to be getting around and just showing off all these venues and just showing the races also going to be having all the povs from every race there is in the country um from uh like uh other riders that are attending these races that i aren't that i aren't that i am not and these are riders that you'll know we're talking about the sweet cup champion uh matthias arnadal and uh hampus rockford uh second um uh, second or third place in the overall uh, third place in the overall last season so we're gonna have some good riders showing you all the lines and all the speed at these races so if i'm not there and you see these guys with the gopro on show them some love all right these are my boys and uh yeah might try and get to a downhill race at some point we'll see what the calendar says i don't want to fill it up too much um i said i wasn't going to race this season let's face it we all know i was going to race some way but uh it's a bit different you know um the support i've been receiving um and the the growth of both the instagram and the, and the youtube channel has been crazy i just want to thank everyone for being on board it's, uh, and the support i get at the races uh, it's it's amazing it really is amazing thank you for taking uh taking this uh foreigner in and making them feel so welcome in sweden so look everyone have a good week everyone that's racing take it chill because sunday a week from now it's go time. I'm stoked to see you all at the races. I won't be there in Jotterborg, but I know everyone's going to turn up and give it some stacks. And hey, don't forget the opening round of the Kaplan Jura in Resaru. Uh, that's at the start of May. I will be there. It's going to be a good race. Those tracks are awesome. So uh, let's all get together and ride some Enduro and just ride bikes and have a good time. All right. I'll see you out on the trails or I'll see you at the races and uh, spread the love. All right. Mountain biking is fun. Let's go enjoy it. Everyone, have a freaking great year. Peace.